Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. So good afternoon. I want to continue uh, from the last uh, lecture. We proved uh, dimension theorem, and we were deducing some consequences of uh, dimension theorem. Uh, today, actually, I will concentrate on proving so-called Krull's principal ideal theorem. It has many applications. Uh, also, it is very important in algebraic geometry for. Uh, many applications, but before that, I want to deduce two corollaries from the dimension theorem. So we have deduced corollary one, two, three. Now it's, today is corollary four. Remember, dimension theorem is uh, for the Noetherian local ring. Three definitions of dimensions are equal. One is the supremum definition. The other is the degree of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial and the third one is Chevalier dimension. So actually this corollary actually I have deduced in uh, corollary 3 but this is slightly different flavor. So as usual our notation is A M local, local always includes Noetherian and A is an element in the maximal ideal M and V is finitely generated finite A model. Then we have seen if I go mod this element A that is if I consider a module V by A V and the dimension of this module can drop at most by 1. Uh, oh, what extra I want to add here is if A is a non zero divisor, non zero divisor for the module V, then equality will hold, hold here, then equality holds. So, proof. Remember when you say an, an element of a ring is a non-zero divisor for a module, that means the left multiplication by A on V, any x going to Ax, this map is injective. That is the definition of when you say A is a non-zero divisor for V. So suppose A is a non-zero divisor for V, that means this A cannot belong to ok. So, uh, we have uh, associated look at the associated primes of V. This is a finite set uh, P 1 to P m and obviously, uh, the dimension of V is then uh, soup of dimension of A by P i's, where i is running here i is equal to 1 to m. Because the dimension of V is the length of the chains of prime ideals inside the support of V and any element of support of V will contain one associated prime and among the associated primes also if somebody is minimal then we would go down to get the maximum length of the chain. Okay, so, uh, among them actually I will choose P1 to Pn which actually gives the dimension such that 
dimension of V is attained at all these guys. That is dimension of A by P i, i is from 1 to n. So, this is a sub. So, choose and because this A is a non zero divisor, A cannot belong to anyone, any associated primes here, in particular any one of this. So, since A is a non zero divisor for V, A cannot belong to any one of them, A cannot belong to union, I is from 1 to n. P i. So, uh, therefore, uh, the if I look at v prime, let us call v prime to be v by a v. Then support of v prime will definitely be contained in support of v and removing p one to p n. Because P1, for example, is not in support of V V prime because when I localize this at P1, then that A will become a unit. Therefore, this model will be zero, so it will not be in the support. So, therefore, support of V prime is actually will not contain P1 to P n, and therefore, the dimension of V prime will not come from any one of this, right? So, it will be bigger. It will be less equal to uh, dimension of v minus 1 because it will drop at most by 1 and on the other hand it is this inequality so equality holds so that proves the corollary okay so I had, this is a probably the appropriate time to define so the, i want to make a definition that suppose we have a non zero module v and a1 to ar are elements in the maximal ideal of a so remember all the time our assumption is a is local local and v is finite a module because we are we are in all the proofs we have been using uh, associated prime support etc all this will make be as well when the module is finitely generated over a noisy ring okay so this this element a1 to ar is called a1 to ar is called an irregular sequence sequence for m for v if for each i from 1 to r ai is a non zero divisor for the module v by ideal generated by the earlier guys a 1 to a i minus 1 v. So, this means for example, start with i equal to 1 a 1 is a non zero divisor for v. So, so a 1 this means so that is a 1 is a non zero divisor for v next a 2 is a non zero divisor for v by a 1 v a 3 is a non zero divisor for v by a 1 a 2 v and so on. So, such a such a uh, sequence is called regular sequence. Now, it is not clear from this definition at all that uh, this whether the permutation of a regular sequence is regular or not or how does one test somebody is a regular sequence. So, this is the next topic I am going to take up with uh, uh, with a lot of things which are called some homological algebra will come and some other stuff will come, but just now I want to make a definition because I want to write one more corollary to the dimension theorem.
that if I go modulo regular sequence, so the dimension of V by A1 to AR V this will drop exactly by R if A1 to AR is a regular sequence. So, dimension of V minus R if A1 to AR is an a regular sequence. for v already in corollary 4 we have proved the this assertion for r equal to 1 and obviously we are going to prove this assertion for by induction on r but uh, before the proof also in particular i want to write down in particular um, a regular uh, any a regular sequence for v is a part of a system of parameters for v That means any regular sequence I can exchange it to system of parameters and system of parameters means is the the d elements where when you go mod them the the length is finite. So the proof of corollary five that is by induction on R R equal to 1 is corollary 4. So, the way the definition is made, um, we know the first R minus 1 elements will be will form a regular sequence for V of length R minus 1 and by induction hypothesis dimension of V by ideal generated by A1 to A R minus 1 times V this dimension will drop exactly by r minus 1 and now I am going to apply once again corollary 4 apply now apply corollary 4 to the module v prime equal to this v by a 1 to a r minus 1 times v then by definition of a regular sequence this element a r then by definition a r is a non zero divisor for v prime. So, by corollary 4 dimension of v prime mod ideal generated by a r v prime this dimension drops exactly by 1 from v prime. So, now just put it together and then you get the corollary 5. Okay, now, uh, getting back to uh, principal ideal theorem. So, this is very as I said this is very important theorem and actually I want to give two proofs. One by using dimension theorem and the other is not using. So, for example, uh, how did we prove that if I have I, uh, suppose I have an Eutherian ring a an Eutherian and P is a prime ideal and then we have defined height of P this is by definition it is a soup of R such that there is a chain of prime ideals contained in P. So, that is P 0 etcetera 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 P R this is a chain of length R and these are all contained in P in spec A. Such a supremum uh, we call the height of P 
or sometimes also in a geometric language i think it is better to call it a co dimension so this i will just mention now but uh, later on when we switch to some geometric statements it will be better to call it a co dimension okay but that's not important now but from this definition a priori it is not clear that this height is finite and uh, we have noted that this height is also nothing but the dimension of the localization because um, because we know uh, uh, correspondence between the prime ideals of spec uh, prime ideals of localization and prime ideals of a these are the those prime ideals which will remain here prime when they are contained in p and if they are not contained in p they will contain a unit and therefore it will not be a prime ideal so uh, we have a good connection so actually this we can identify here with that so after this what we did was we proved the dimension of a local ring is finite and that is that follows from the fact that it is uh, by the dimension theorem because we have proved that this cruel dimension is same as the degree of the hilbert samuel polynomial and degree of the polynomial is uh, an integer a uh, natural number so it's it's finite that is how the proof was but um i will prove today by using cruel's so called principal ideal theorem that this is finite um so okay so let us observe some some facts there may be some repetition but uh, but let us do it for the sake of complicity so let me write a lemma so first of all height of p is now the first proof i will give by using the dimension theorem and and the uh, the second part i will not use the dimension theorem and prove height is finite so first first statement is height of p is less equal to mu of p now remember my ring is not local so one has to be little careful when one says mu of mu of so remember here when i have a module v v is an a module when do you what do you say about mu v this is by definition look at all generating sets of v and among them take the one which has the least cardinality that is called minimal that number is called minimal number of generators for v this is called the minimal number generators for v and remember so this is slightly different from saying that you take a minimal generating set and take the cardinality see minimal generating set by definition means a generating set which you cannot remove any element from that so that such a set is called a minimal generating set for example if i take a equal to a equal to ring, ring of integers and v is also integers so here 2 3 is a generating set for v and it's a minimal also because you cannot drop 2 you cannot drop 3 so this is actually the minimal generating set one is also minimal generating set so the two generating two minimal generating sets may have different cardinality but among them we are choosing the minimal one so in this case mu of z as a z module is one and you would have seen probably that Uh, you, given any integer r you can write down a minimal generating set for z as a z module for arbitrary r so for arbitrary r natural number there exist a minimal generating set of cardinality r for for z okay so i gave you example for two elements three elements also you can do and four elements also you can do you cannot drop any one of them this is a nice exercise 
probably you will need Jaini Dirmande theorem or playing with the prime numbers. Okay, so the first statement is uh, height of p is less equal to mu of p, where mu of p is the minimal number of generators for p. And because we are in an Athenian ring, every ideal is finitely generated. So in particular, p has uh, at least one set which is finite set of generators. So in any case, mu mu p will be less equal to this is the finite number. So this also proves height. This proves in particular height p is finite. Okay, so this is the first statement of the lemma. Uh, second, if r is height of, so now it's finite. So I will call r is if r is height of the prime ideal p, then there exists a chain. of length r like this which is p in spec so that means if if you see that this height is r and then the other side is supremum that means supremum is attained right okay third one if r is height of p then for each r for each i from 0 to r there exist a prime ideal pi with pi which is contained in p and height of pi is exactly i okay so let us prove this uh, prove this lemma first so proof of the lemma one i want to prove that height p is less equal to the mu of p so we have noted about height p is nothing but dimension of a localized at p now a is a local ring this is a local ring with the unique maximal ideal p a p and and we have noted that this dimension is the degree of the hilbert samuel polynomial but this degree we have noted that it is the degree is less equal to the number of generators for this ideal You remember, if you have taken a Q to be m primary ideal in a local ring, and then taken a module over that and defined a Hilbert function using that, then we have checked that the degree of the Hilbert function is less equal to the number of generators for the primary ideal. So here the primary ideal is m p a p itself. So this is less equal to mu of p a p. Minimal number of generators for the maximal ideal, but this is less. This is obviously less equal to mu p because if you take a generating set for p, then after going to localization, some of them may may not be required. So therefore, the minimal number of generators will be less equal to mu p. So this this is where we have used the dimension theorem. that the dimension of a local ring equal to the degree of the hilbert samuel polynomial okay so that proves one so two uh, since height is finite by one uh, the two is clear two is immediate because it's it's a finite number and so okay so two is clear and three you want for each i uh, some prime ideal which is contained in p of height i but you see two says if r is height there is a chain like this of length r 
and the last one is p so the if i take pi here the height will be i that is obvious so clear from 2 or take pi equal to uh, uh, pi equal to the ith element in appearing pi equal to the ith prime ideal appearing in in 2 ok so that proves the lemma now this the lemma was for prime ideal so in general if you have an ideal a in a chain ring then one puts height of a by definition this is the infimum of heights of prime ideals p such that p belongs to spec a and a is contained in p but obviously these are all prime ideals of the ring which contain all of a but now uh, it is clear that we only have to concentrate on the minimal elements in the support and minimal elements in the support is same as minimal elements in the associated primes. So, what I am talking about is support of A by A and associated primes of A by A. This containment is clear and the minimal minimal sets are same min min support of A by A is same as mean associated primes of a by a. when i say mean you see this these sets are ordered by natural inclusion the mean means minimal elements there could be many it's not it's not uh, it's not a chain so therefore height height of an ideal a is minimum of and now I want to use a minimum word because infimum word is usually used for an infinite set. So, when the set is finite then one uses the word minimum. So, minimum of height p where p is minimal over and minimal over a means an element of the support which is a minimal element there that means in in so, this means there is no prime ideal in between A and P. There is nobody here in between. If somebody is there, then it has to be equality here. That means the minimal, there is no prime ideal in between A and P. Okay. In particular, there are finitely many elements. Therefore, in particular, at least one element. So, in particular, there exists. there exist uh, p prime ideal p which contains a and height of a is equal to height of p such a p will be necessarily minimal p will be necessarily minimal over over a because if there is in between the height of p will increase uh, height of that whichever is contained his height will increase so therefore it is minimum okay